What's up my peeps and fellow RC people, today I'm showing you my RS4 Sport 3 for Mustang 2015 specs. Uh, the thing about this truck, it's brushed. Um, you guys might have seen an old video of it when I did it, but I'm going to change the servo. So I just bought one of these, uh, you know, it's from my E-Revo 2.0 similar type servo here. And I'm going to just uh, switch servos out because the servo on this kind of sucks. It like, sometimes it malfunctions and the wheels just stay turned or something like that that so i'm just gonna switch it out show you what the old one looks at and we'll run it real quick on you know just out in the flat area real quick all right guys so this is the uh standard stock servo that was kind of malfunctioning on me okay it, this is the uh the motor mount type thing that it goes in there like this okay and then it kind of kind of goes in like that okay and then um, comparing it to my other servo here, because the other one's like unreliable, man. But anyways, yeah, that's my friend Joe. You grab them both and you look at them. There you go. See, so there's each difference. I'll put the tracks in one. To me, I, I just think it was just a little more reliable. The HDI one kind of went bad or something like that. But, um, yeah. All right, guys. It looks like it's running good. There you go. Packs the servo right up in there. Let me show you guys. Uh, yeah, got a little blue touch to it now, so looks good. Hey, Patrick, <laughs> he's running his truck, and I'm just gonna fire bolt 15. Let's see how good it runs. All right, guys, the servo seems to be doing pretty good. It's not stuck anymore, so that's the cool thing, and it's quick too. So you know, you know, on this concrete this car is so lowered that you can't really um you put the body on and it just like scrapes on the bottom a little bit so i kind of took the body off just to make sure this this servo is working good and stuff and it seems to be a little quite quite a bit of pickup you know what i mean so i like it with the green wheels and everything you kind of do that so you don't get a run over there's cars coming Woo. all right yeah, this feels good, man. Sometimes you gotta gut these street runners out here and every now and then, you know what I mean? They're fun to drive to. Out in the sun, nice hot day, HPI, Mustang. Put the body on this, this thing's gone. I might go brushless, but you don't really need to. With these kind of cars, they're so low pri profile that when you drive them, it's like fast already, you know? It feels fast and you can like drift if you get some drift tires, etc. But uh, it seems to work pretty good. <laughs> so this car's honking like I don't know how to control it or something. Man, I'll catch up to you right there. Like nothing if I wanted to. But I won't because it's just for fun. Anyways, yeah, it seems to be running good, guys. And I'm going to hang out here. Just drive my street uh, Sport Sport 3. And then you got these like curbs. You could go up like kind of sideways like that. So you don't wanna like that, so that way you don't uh you know it's like going up speed bumps when you got your car lowered and shit. <laughs> it's funny. Anyways guys. <laughs> Pretty cool, I'm gonna wear these tour tires out. These are the standard stock tour tires that came on it and shit. But uh, I should, it's kind of nice. I like tour tires because you can still drift on it if you wanted to, you know. Uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Stay out here. Kind of do that speed bump right there. There you go. Kind of at an angle, you know, so you don't scratch up that chassis too much. Sorry if I'm shaking, but uh, you guys have a great day. I'm gonna stay out here and just kind of, kind of run this thing. All right, guys, love you all. It's the weekend. Get an RC. Okay, bye.